a new video, one that's improved compared to the first one I made because the first video I made about this was with a, a handheld telephone and yeah, without a microphone. So we try now with direct uh, screen recording and then make a video which is easier to, to see and hear and understand. So for the purpose we want to, we have these files. This is usually what you find for Emacs. Uh, these kind of files, they're basically made with EMXP often where you put in a floppy disk and then you use EMXP to, to dump them. Anyway, so we want to convert these files into a floppy image which you can use with your floppy emulator. And for this, we have two tools. We have this one and we have the classic EMXP. So let's start with this one. So say copy. And insert, hope you already had demos there, but that's okay. So normally I will copy this one into the OS folder, but for this tool, we already have different variations of the OS. So then the EB1 goes to EB1 folder, EM1 goes to EM1 folder. We then run this bad script, click OK. Which OS do you want to include? We just take the basic one for this example, but example, if you have an Emacs with uh, SE upgrade, then you could choose number one instead. Anyway, we just hit zero, enter. And now when I go to the HFE folder, then you can see that two files have been converted. And the OS is of course included in these images. So you can basically, you can boot with, with this disk. Good. Okay, so we go back. Now we want to check out EMXP. So here yeah, I expect just jump one step back as the insert. So we copy the OS image, the EMX file to OS folder, and then we copy these two into the images folder and open EMXP. Okay, let's make it, didn't make it bigger anyway. So here we have to choose some menus. So we take number one for emo files, this is emo files, emo one file, emacs one file survey. Then we have to choose if we want to convert bank or emx files. So you remember we had two different kind of files. This is the bank, the base one. And this was the emx. Good, let's just convert the bank. So say number one, then you have to choose which one you want to convert. We just say hit two here. Hey, you can also click on, on L and then you can actually listen to the to the same before you convert it. Then we have to hit C for convert. Then we say convert to Emacs one sampler. What format do we want it as a destination file? We want to have floppy image, which we can use with the floppy emulator, so that's option five. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Do we want to include the OS? Yes, please. So that's option three. Enter. Where do we want it saved? Yeah. That's okay, we can save it in the image just uh, folder. So we hit okay. And that's basically it. We finished. So let's just close it down. So now when I go here, then we can see that we have converted this EB1 file to an HFE file, which you can use with your floppy emulator. And this can also be used for booting, of course, because we included the the OS image 2, as so the 3.2, which is the basic OS. That's it. Yeah, thank you for watching.